I wanted to talk to you a minute about the Sedona Elite 3200, making an adjustment on the drum in case the uh, space between the drum and the uh, bean do door is too far, causing the beans to uh, push the door open during a roast. If that happens, um, it means that generally in transit or through the use of time, the drum, drum has become out of line. Generally, you don't have to do a, a complete drum alignment, which would include uh, adjusting the back uh, bearing. You just need to take the three set screws out, and I believe these use a 2.5 hexagonal wrench. Take them out of the three uh, places where the set screws are in. Do not take out the three bolts that stays in for this process. Once you take out the three set screws, it's, it's still a, a hard turn, but this will dial either clockwise, about a, a quarter to a half turn, or counterclockwise. You'll notice when you're turning it that the drum is slightly moving either in or out. Uh, clockwise moves it in a little bit, counterclockwise brings it out just a little bit. And what you want to do is you want to get the uh, drum as close to the body edge, and I'll show you a picture photograph as you can. as you can. You don't want a big gap between there where beans uh, and debris can fall through to the debris tray as well as beans to get caught in the uh, drum while spinning forcing the uh, uh, door to open up slightly and next thing you know beans are dropping into that. So once you get it adjusted to the proper degree to where it's just slightly inside of the body and you can feel it with your finger Put the three set screws back in using the 2.5 uh, hexagonal wrench and then uh, you want to give it a test first of all. Give it a cold test where you start up with your machine, drop uh, a full load of beans and see how the drum door does. But then you want to give it a second test uh, with heat, with no beans to let it heat up to 450 degrees and the reason for this test is because steel obviously expands a little bit. You want to make sure that you moved it close but not so close that it expands and rubs up against this front plate as it gets up to you know your higher temperatures because then you'll hear like a squeal and it almost sounds like brake shoes on a, on a car squealing as you're putting on the brakes but you don't want that to happen. If you find out that's happened then you need to uh, cool off the machine, run it in cool with no heat, let it completely cool down, uh, turn it off, unplug it, and then make a slight adjustment on the uh, on the drum here by removing again these three set screws and then uh, adjusting it accordingly. It might take a few minutes to get it exactly right, but once you get it right, it doesn't to get out of line very often. Obviously, if you're turning, if your drums turn it at 50 to 100 RPM per minute, you can imagine the hundreds of thousands of times it's going to be turning during the course of a, a month or so of roasting. And there is always that possibility, just like on the front end of a car, that it will get out of line from time to time. But that's a simple fix. More details are in our manual. Feel free to consult that, and, and you'll find you'll be up and running in no time. Thank you very much.